everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Blessings to you all and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday morning. This is another live stream to help you with your growth. I see everyone signing on. I see you guys with the comments. I seen people signing on way before we started. I was reading the comments. Beautiful Sunday to you. And yes, I seen that you were already waiting. Carlton Atkins, again, always here. 88 fingers, leave front and center. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Blessings to you all. Um, I do have a lot of members here. I got Delia Jamison, Angie Hunt, Quivana's Anton, Robinson Family, Kay Lewis, Vanessa Jackson Cannon. Blessings to you guys all. I got Tawana Brooks Harris. Um, Cecilia L is here. Listen, blessings to you all. Before we start, I'm going to give you a couple of rules to what it is about this live stream Sunday, if this is your first time here. This is a live stream Sunday, a metaphysical Sunday, basically to help you on your life journey, okay? Now, there's some things. You can no longer write a comment in the chat unless you are the, a, a subscriber. You are welcome to watch, but unless you're a subscriber, you cannot write a comment. And if you do subscribe, you have to wait a minute in order for it to come on. Now, the next thing is, is that you see me mentioning certain names. And these are my members, people that are taking the extra step to basically support this channel. So there's different types of levels for membership. Well, all membership, they get acknowledged, their comments get acknowledged. I answer their questions quickly on videos, live streams, and even off, and even off. So I do want you guys to understand there's no disrespect to any of you. Basically, these are the members. Now, again, we are here every Sunday morning for a live stream for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So listen, if you want to um, join like-minded people, hey, look, from all over the world, come join us on Sunday mornings. It's usually around 10 o'clock. Now, for all the people that are already there putting where they're from, jerseys in the house, put in the live chat where you're from. Don't write a book. Just write where you're from so people can see that you guys are all from over the world and you're coming here to change your life. Now, today we're going to talk about something that kind of excites me. It kind of makes me laugh a little bit. And that is, oh, we met. Oh, oh. They did it to me again. Ha uh ha. -huh. Listen, how many times have you guys heard someone call you on the phone? It may even be yourself saying someone did something to you or something happened. Why me? They're attacking me. They're, they're doing this to me. And listen, it could be all types of situations. I get it all, you guys. But we're going to talk about this today in a metaphysical way. And I'm going to explain to you why you're getting this, okay, and how to correct it. It is just that simple. Again, this is my world of metaphysics, and this is a metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives manifesting techniques, rituals, whatever you want, affirmations, scripted, mirror work, everything is right here in one place. And again, this is live stream Sundays. So, okay, give me that thumbs up, you guys, if you guys can hear me so that I know that we are all connecting at this moment and we're going to move on. Now, oh, one thing I would like to say is please don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, okay? But most of all, when you go keep watching the videos. Okay, I see everybody giving those thumbs up. People saying North Carolina. Dang, there's a lot of North Carolina, Arizona, Texas, or Oregon, Michigan, <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. North, everyone's all over Chicago. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, because this is a special month for me, it's Black History Month. And as you guys know, I am a proud Black African American female. So today, I'm going to give you guys, as we start off our February, some free books. Ha ha, ha ha. I have my It Works journal, okay? And this is my second journal from the other one that is um, out on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. Both of my journals are out on both of these sites. Now, I will tell you this. Sorry, people that are out of the country. 
I cannot send these books at this time to you guys. You guys can get them on Barnes and Nobles. You guys can get them on Amazon. They're available around the world. But for this live stream, I can't send them because they're going to be charging me all types of money to send. But what I will do for the people that are not in this country that do actually win something, they will get a free reading or session with me. Okay. And this is for those people that are out of the country. We could do it by Zoom, whatever. But I will talk to you if you win a prize. Okay. Listen, it'll be 15 minutes, but I will talk to you as your prize. Okay. But today we are giving out the It Works uh, Manifestation Journal. And I do want to thank those people out there that has bought the It Works Manifestation Journal already and who have actually bought the 369 Journal. If you have, please put in the description that you did enjoy the book or if the book met your um, expectations, something, okay, so that I can know. Okay, so now let's get started, you guys. Okay, again, we're talking about Things happening to you in a negative fashion and you are the victim, okay? We're going to call it the victim. Here, I don't believe in the victim mentality, okay, you guys? Even when it comes down to myself, I am not perfect. I am a perfect in spiritual in the spiritual realm, but I am not a perfect person. So when things do happen to me on the physical plane, I know the truth, okay? And we're going to speak about this. I get people that are writing me and they're saying, Yvette, oh, my family is attacking me. My family don't like me. My coworkers don't like me. Oh my God, the dog don't like me. Whatever it is that, they're, that you're writing me about or telling other people, this is the victim mentality, you guys. And listen, I'm going to tell you guys how to get out of this because you don't know you are attracting you are bringing into your existence these things on a metaphysical level. Nothing happens by accident. You are energy and your energy is going to attract to you whatever it is you are experiencing, okay? Now, you guys understand this. Whatever happens to you in your life, good or bad, you attracted it. You brought it into your life and it's based on a couple of things, you guys, and that is your feelings, um, what are you thinking, speaking, and doing, okay? The, it basically boils down to what it is you're concentrating on. But to add the fuel to it, the feelings is what gets you there. Ha ha, okay, you guys? So when you see your family members not getting along with you, and listen, I have been there. In fact, I've been there very recently, okay? Okay. You got to sit back and say, how am I attracting this? And actually let it go. Okay, you guys, you have to remember, this is about your spiritual growth. Okay, you guys understand it. It's about your spiritual growth. And if you are attracting negative things into your life, you have to sit back and say, what lesson is this in there for me? Okay, because we are here to learn. So if you're attracting negative things into your life, you have to look at it and say, holy crap, like, why am I experiencing this? What did I do to attract this? And you need to look at it from that point. Okay, this is very, very important, you guys, because so many people are saying, no, Yvette, I started the job and they were just jealous of me. They didn't like me. Okay, I understand what you're saying and I agree with you to a certain point. But at the end of the day, you attracted that job. OK, you attracted that location. OK, you attracted that person coming into your life, having that job to be able to work with you. This is life, you guys. And regardless to what any of us might say, we all been there. I don't care who you are. You have attracted some type of negativity in your life. So I'm not telling you that everything is peachy clean. OK, I'm not saying that. OK, I'm just saying that you have to acknowledge how is this happening? Why did this happening so that you can move on or it's going to get worse? OK, listen, put in the chat 
if you are one of those people or if you hear this type of comments all the time or maybe you just heard it this morning uh huh sunday mornings people are calling you telling you their problems and they always the victim mentality okay so now let's move on when it comes down to the law of attraction and metaphysics okay you have to understand why you are getting things in your life. This is not something to laugh about. I feel bad for people. I feel bad for myself sometimes when I'm going through things. And I say, wow, how did I attract this in my life? How did I bring this about? When you go about it like that, you are open and receptive to learn from this situation. Okay? Okay? It's only really bad when this happens to you and you don't learn a lesson, when you don't learn why it happened, okay? You're at your job. Someone's going after you. Happened to me. I did a video on it many years ago. And you have to sit back and say, wow, how did this happen? How it happened to me is that this person was one of those troublemaking people. But it didn't have to come into my reality. But because I was a higher official and African-American female, this person really did not want to listen to anything I had to say, okay? And it is okay. But how did I attract this person into my world? And it was because I already knew this person was trouble. And I was like, oh no, if they get at home, this person come at me, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. I was already opening up the doors for this person to come into my life. Now, listen, I'm not saying this person was all that clean. This person was a pain in the neck, everyone, and was trying to cause trouble for everyone. Now, why wasn't I out of this equation? It's because I opened the door and because I'm a Leo, because I'm, because I'm very outspoken, I attracted this person head on and it became a, a power struggle between the two of us. This person was just ridiculous, but it didn't have to be my fight. I actually took over. And then once I sat back and said, okay, that you know how to handle this situation is when I gradually got out that situation and then she moved on to focus on other people. They actually ended up going to court, but I didn't get to that situation. And I quietly moved on. Now, to end this, I told God, I said, God, with all that I done been through, holy crap, I went through a lot. I need a little rest. And I am not going to tell, I'm going to tell you this right now. God gave me about four, five years of rest. It was like for that challenge you went through, for that lesson that you learned, for you being able to navigate this and get out of it and be in peace, I'm going to give you years of peace. In fact, enough peace to last you until retirement. Uh, when I tell you God worked things out, once I was aware of what I was doing, it was unbelievable. I can tell you, it was a lesson. It was a lesson for me to learn and a lesson that I probably got to learn again and again and again in different and other situations, okay? But I learned the lesson. I had to let go, but I had to correct the problem because the problem was already there, okay? And that's where my freezing technique came in, my blow them out to the wind, whatever. But I had to stop the situation and then from there, get out of it. Now, most people love to blame others when things happen. Most people like to say, it wasn't me. It was someone else. They did this. Yvette, what are you saying? You think I'm asking for that? You think I asked for that guy to assault me? I mean, uh, to assault me? You think, listen, nothing happens by accident. Something placed you in that situation. Something placed you there. It, it, it does not matter. Nothing happens by accident. And sometimes you are placed in situations to help yourself grow for the one of the reasons why you came here on this earth, okay? So there's many different reasons, you guys, that things happen to you. But when we're talking about everyday things, every little th day things, 
you are basically attracting that into your life and you must acknowledge it so that you can move on because you have grown and passed that situation. So the universe is saying, oh, another lesson checked off. Let's move on to the next. Okay, if you understand what I'm saying, oh, we got somebody here from Greece. Wow, Jersey is in the house. So many people, blessings to you all. I love it. I love it. I love it. So now, one of the ways that I do want to bring up to you guys about your energy and your frequency, and that is, again, what it is you're watching on TV, what it is you're listening to the radio. Now, listen. I am a power fan, everybody. So I do get my power in, my Canaan, you know, look, power book three. I get it in, you guys. I'm a fan. BMF, I'm a fan. But at the end of the day, I must end my night watching something funny. I must end my night watching um, Martin or Everyone Loves Chris or something that's going to make me laugh. When New Year's pop in, the whole day, I'm watching The Honeymooners. I want to laugh. I want to laugh because what it does, it brings up my vibration. When you are constantly listening to things and they're talking about bees and hoes and, and talking about negativity, you are actually impregnating that into your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is actually saying, hey, um, silly, um, C C Sicily, Sicily wants, um, she wants to have this experience in her life. Hey, look, Denise Stewart wants to have this in her life. She wants to have killing and, and this in her life because this is what she is paying attention to all the time. When you are listening to music that is not promoting love, that is not promoting happiness, you are saying, this is what excites me. This is what I want in my life. And when you go to work and then somebody approaches you or talks behind your back and then it, there's a blow up and there's an argument and then you want to say, why did this happen to me? I'm innocent. No, they're the culprit. No, they may be the culprit, but you attracted them in your life by paying attention to what you are paying attention to in your life. Your feelings, your thoughts, this is all how things happen in your life. So when I when I so when I get people that say, Yvette, I'm having a problem with my family member, and by the time the conversation ends, you're having a problem with 10 family members. Oh shoot, who's the common denominator? <laughs> okay. If you guys understand what I'm saying, throw your thumbs up, you guys, and, and, and give me and, and give me that like because basically. This is how life is, and people are not understanding how they're getting what they're getting in their life, okay? You're sitting on the phone talking all this negativity, all these things going on in your life, and you are basically attracting more of that, okay? The secret is to get out of all of this, is to keep your thoughts on happiness, is to keep thinking happiness. Who got somebody's a bronze member? Who, uh, oh, message got retracted. <laughs> okay. Listen, you have to look and you have to say to yourself, hey, look, what is it that I want in my life? Do I want peace? Do I want happiness? Do I want to stay in conflict? Do I want to stay in a situation where there's always something going on? And I will tell you this. The more you in these type of situations, every day you are chopping a little piece of your life off. Every time you are in a negative situation with someone and you feel drained and you feel like, oh my God, I just want to go home and get in the bed because I feel so tired. You are chopping away a piece of your life, okay? You need to state to yourself, is this worth it? Is it worth me chopping or cutting down my longevity on this earth? Is it worth me killing my cells, making my hair gray, making my, um, making my what do you call it, skin wrinkle, following up people that are negative? What is it that you want out of life? Is it worth it? And you need to let it go. If someone is coming at you, I, now I'm not going to tell you because I am the last person to tell you not to address it. But after you address it, you have to say, how did I attract this? And what could I have done different? 
Is it the way I'm coming off? Do I have a negative energy? Is it the way I speak? Am I, am I downgrading people as I speak? Am I being proactive or am I basically going against the team? What is it about me that I can change? And I'm not telling you to sit down and talk to the people about it because they're just going to throw it back in your face. Sit back at home and analyze yourself and try to make changes, okay? If someone you feel is not for you, hey, look, you can say, hey, look, Becky, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, like you basically don't like me or don't like me in this position. Or you can say to a family member, hey, look, is there something that we can talk about because I'm hearing such and such was said, and, you know, I love you. You're a family member to me. So, you know, I'm coming to you because this is not a street thing. This is a family thing. And I love you, so I'm going to come to you and say, hey, look, what the heck is going on? Okay? And if that person comes off a little huffy, you can say, listen, I didn't come to you like that. I came to you because you're my family member and I love you. Doing this, who's going to be the one that's not going to get sleep that night? You got to remember this. Who's going to be the one in that scenario that is not going to get their sleep that night? It will not be you because you did not react. You were proactive in the situation and you're going to say, I did the very best that I could and you're going to be the one going to sleep. That one that was huffing and puffing and feeling all like the wolf is going to be the one sleeping at night, not getting any sleep, killing their cells causing themselves to have a GI ulcer, they're going to be the ones going through this. You have to make wise decisions about your life as someone that studies metaphysics about how you want your life to go. And listen, we all go through it, including myself. I can blow. It is me. I am a Leo and I will tell you that I can blow. But at the end of the day, I got to say, whoa, Yvette, stop it. Whoa, God forgive me. Oh, God forgive me. That was not the correct thing to do. And learn from the situation so that it won't happen again. So listen, if you guys understanding what I'm saying, listen, give me that thumbs up, you guys. So what this all boils down to when you feel like things are coming against you is to change you, okay? Someone's coming at you, change you, okay? Change how you are addressing the situation. If you're having problems with family members, change how you are looking at the situation. Look at them as a part of God, as a part of you, as a part of the universe and say they too are having their human experience and say, so am I. What is, what is it that brought me and you in this situation together? There's two lessons to learn, not one. So let me learn my lesson. Let me be the bigger person and go to my family member and say something. Let me be the bigger person to change the way I'm thinking at the job. Maybe that same person that's coming against me need help doing something and we don't get along. Maybe I'm going to be the one to step in and help that person at the job because I know I'm getting rid of my my problems. I'm getting I'm learning my lesson and I'm going to handle this totally different. After I help this person, if this person don't change, because they should, because now you just switch the energy. You went and tried to help a person that did not like you. You just switch the energy. And if that person still don't want to acknowledge you as somebody positive, then you just need to let that person go. But you don't end it with a negative thing. You do not end nothing with something negative. Even with your spouse, do not go to bed at night thinking negativity about your spouse. Say, hey, look, I'm not going to sleep like this. You might go to sleep like this, but it won't be me. I'm sorry for whatever it is that you think I have done. And I I um, and I, I accept your apology if you're actually giving it to me, but I am forgiving and I'm letting this go because I'm going to bed. I want to laugh. I'm going to watch Martin. And if you want to sit there and be huffy and puffy, that's on you. You just changed the whole dynamics of whatever was going on. And that person, when they get ready to huff up again, they're going to find someone else to do it with. And you have to understand this, you guys. When you are attracting things in your life, you have to say, 
What did I do to bring this in? What lesson is it for me in this experience? What can I do to reverse it? If you're thinking negative, let the negativity go. Go to that person if you can and say, hey, look, it seems like there's something going on. Hey, look, we work together. We're cool. I don't want any problems with anybody. So I'm willing to let this go. What is it that I can do to help you? What is it that you can do to help me? And I just want to let this go because I... I'm, I'm moving on, okay? If it's a family member, this is more important than somebody at the job or somebody in the street. Hey, look, you're my family member. I love you. This is not no street matter, okay? This is family. What is it that I need to do or what is it you feel like I did that is causing this problem? If I did something, please tell me so that I can rectify it so that we can move on as family, okay? There's things to do when it comes down to family, when it comes down to people in the street. Again, you can do something to me and I'm letting it go. You know, I may not say anything to you, but I'm not holding any grudges. And again, I'm going through it myself. But at the end of the day, I see you. Hi, whatever. I'm going to open up. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not one of those people that is going to hold a 10-year grudge. And let me tell you, you get those people that are still holding grudges with people from high school, from junior high. I just feel totally bad for those people when I see that they are holding on to animosity from 40 years ago, okay? Unbelievable. You got people out there just like that. Those people, I said, whoop, let me leave you alone because you're on a journey. You're on a strong journey, and I don't want to be on that journey with you. Okay. And that's just the way it goes. So again, you guys, um, let me make sure now. Okay. If you're having problems releasing things, I want to end it with this. And what I would do is again, work on yourself, not on the person. Okay. Work on yourself. The first thing I would do is mirror work. You guys, again, I'm always pushing out that mirror work technique. You guys, I'm always saying, Hey, look, look in the mirror. Everything starts from within. If you're getting things you don't like in your life, know it came from within. If you're getting things in your life, know it came from within. Within is the God that dwells in, inside of you. Within is the piece of you that is connected with God. So when you go to that mirror and you know you're experiencing negative things in your life, you stop and you say, hey, Yvette, I love you, girl. Ah, we're going through something right now. But you know what? I know there's a lesson behind this. I know I attracted this. So at this moment, I'm willing to let whatever go. I'm releasing it. I don't care. I'm going to release it. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to move on. Now, listen, Yvette, if I got to handle this problem, I will handle it. But at the end of the day, once it's handled, I'm moving on because I don't want to attract this ever again. Okay. And I love you. I love you. We deserve the best. And I'm just looking at the situation and maybe I could have said something a little better. Maybe I could have stopped thinking negative thoughts, thinking, watching negative movies. You know, maybe it was me that attracted this person into my life. But at this point, I'm going to make changes within myself. And at the same time, if I have to deal with the situation, I will deal with it and then I will move on. Whatever it is, you're going through. Mirror work is almost like talking to your best friend that knows more about you than you do. Your best friend that would never go and tell another person. An, your best friend that you know is going to look at you with, with, with empathy, going to look at you knowing that you are spiritual, knowing that you came here to learn a lesson and they know more about you than yourself. So who is the best person to speak to? It's you because the God that dwells inside of you is in that mirror. So now the other way is prayer work, you guys. Again, prayer work is like mirror work. Mirror work, you're talking to yourself. Prayer work, you're speaking outwardly to the universe, to God, to your angels, to your guardian angels, your spiritual guides, asking for support, asking for direction. It's just that simple, you guys. And asking to release and let go. Okay. Release and let go. God, I release this. I let go and I give it to you. God, I release this. I let go. I give this to you. 
I said nothing but love to this situation. I said nothing but love to these people. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, another thing, if you feel like you got a whole lot of stuff going on in your house, okay, you can actually pull out that sage and sage your house once a month, open up the windows and let that fresh air come in. You can use sage, mirth, frankincense, whatever you want to use, you guys, but get that negative energy outside of your house. And I will tell you this, most of the time that negative energy is right on you, okay? So now... The next thing is that I would tell you that you can do to protect yourself when you are in these situations is to wear black crystals, you guys, okay? Um, black tourmaline, black obsidian, jet, okay? All of these things, black crystals, are can help protect you. I don't leave home without my black tourmaline and my tiger's eye, okay? Tiger, arr, you know? Listen. It's not only that it helps you with protection, but it also helps you with success. So when you feel like you're in a negative situation, please put on some black crystals. Now, one thing that I will tell you, black comes off very strong. So, okay. So if you're looking at a situation where you want to diffuse, black is going to protect you. Okay. And repel that negative energy. But that is not the color that you want to wear if you want to dissolve a situation with a family member. You might want to wear pink, light blue for communication, pink for love, or light green for healing. All of these things might help you better not come off so strong. That's if you are one of those people like myself that do come off a little strong. Sometimes you got to tone it down. And listen, you guys see I wear a lot of black, black nail polish, black lipstick, black, 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 black. And I come off a little strong. So this year I said, let me taper it down a little bit. I'm back to wearing my purples. I will wear my blacks here and there, but I'm trying to do a little pink, a little purple to tone it down a little bit, you guys, because again, I come off strong. Okay. So again, I just told you guys why you're attracting whatever it is that you are attracting if you understand exactly what I'm saying, please give me that thumbs up, you guys, and blessings to you, okay? And again, this channel is here for your growth, and that's all it is. If you want to support this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell. There's 120-some people here. I want to see those thumbs, those likes go up. And again, we are here every Sunday morning for a live stream on metaphysics at the same time. If you want to support this channel, join and become a member. We got a lot of members out there, you guys. And I want to sincerely thank you guys for supporting this channel. Other than that, even if you're not a member, I still want to say thank you for watching the videos and just being here. I could not do this without you guys. Again, if you want some sage, because you really need to sage that home, or some black crystals, please go to the shop in the description. The link is there and it will actually take you to the shop where you can actually go to the category and buy black crystals, sage, whatever it is that you want. If you want to work with scripting, again, I have the It Works Manifestation Journal and this journal here comes with the instructions, you guys. At the same time, it's going to walk you through how to do it. In this book, you can manifest different things at the same time. When you're working with the 369 journal, this is a powerful technique. At the same time, you're basically working with one goal, okay? But it works. This one right here works a lot, but this one right here also. This is the RHJ method, and this is the, the Tesla me method, the 369. So again, my dream journal is about to come out also to help you guys with your dream interpretations and actually dream recall by writing out your dreams and learning how it works, okay? So blessings to you all. So now I'm going to get to a couple little comments. And at the same time, I have a little surprise for you guys. We're going to give out a couple of books. And if you are outside of the country, please go to Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. It's in the description where you can buy this book. Other than that, I'm going to give out a couple today. 
um, to the people in the United States. And if you are out of the United States, I will make it up to you by giving you a um, 20 minute session with me. Okay. So it will be a 20 second, a 20 minute session with me. And most likely it won't be a reading. It'll probably be a coaching session and we can do it on Zoom. If you don't have Zoom, we'll figure out a way of getting you your session. Okay. So blessings to you, much love. And I'm not going to stay on that long with this because we have to keep it moving. Listen, there's 111 people on here and I love it that I looked at it at that time. God, the universe is with us. Again, I already said that Carlton Atkins was here. Dahlia was here. Angie Quivanas is here. Robinson family. Kay Lewis. Vanessa Jackson Cannon. Okay. Kay Lewis said, hello, kings and queens. Did my, my monthly sentiment and salt cleanse. I love it. Ready for the great for the new um, great new month. I love it. 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 Um, someone else, Tawana Brooks said, greeting everyone, wealth, abundance, and happiness. Hello. I love it. Cicely said, good morning. Dennis Stewart, um, good morning. Um, Denise Stewart. And then my comment moderator is here. I think my other comment moderator is here. Um, okay, we got, um, who else made a little comment here? Um, a lot of people are saying where they're from, Michigan, North Carolina. I love it. I love it. Stefan Jenkins is here. Um, who else is it? Carlton Atkins. I love it. I love it. Um, so many people are here. They're giving thumbs up. Now, who is this? I didn't even see this. Samika L. Moore. She gave a super sticker, a super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Samika um, L. Moore. I love it. L.M.O.R.E. I love it. I love it. Thank you for the donation. Blessing to you. I'm, I'm glad you like the material. Um, Stefan Jink, um, Angie Hunts, I definitely enjoyed the book. Thank you, Angie. And thank you for the video, Angie. <laughs> I love it. Stefan Jenkins said, I need it. I need the It Works. I have the 369. And yes, I enjoy it. Money is running my way. Thank you, God. I love it. Cicely said, 369 Journal, bought it and love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carlton Atkins, thumbs up. The Oki Superset is here. And she says, good morning, everybody. De um, Delia said, I bought three, um, the 369, one for myself, one for my sister, and one for my daughter. Oh, my God. Now, you are a trooper, a real trooper. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Delia Jameson said, I bought three, 369. Okay. I love it. I love it. And she, um, oh, my God. Uh, so many people bought um, so many. Stefan Jenkins, we speak life over um, your life prayer when awakening in the rising. I love it. I love it. I love it. Our words, as you say, make a difference. Absolutely, Stefan. Um, Robinson, I, I have to work on myself. Listen, Robinson family, we all have to work on ourselves, including me. Do not think anyone here is without needing to work on yourself or you would not be here, including me. Okay. Again, I never act like I'm the holy person running around. I know universal laws. I love to read about the mystics and stuff. So I'm spreading my information because I know it. Other than that, life itself is a journey and we all have to learn as we're here. I make mistakes. I have to step back and say, wow, why did you do that, Yvette? So don't feel alone. Philip Tibbs. Good morning, Philip. Good morning. And again, happy belated birthday to you. Angie Hunt. Yes, I had backed up from that person too. Okay. Stefan Jenkins says, yes. Carlton says, um, thumbs up. I got a lot of thumbs up here. Keto Camille Music is here. Hello, hello. Rising Vibes is here. I love it. So many people, you guys. So many people. Um, so Kat is here. Hello, Kat. I love it. A um, lot of thumbs up. And we're going to move on because I got so many things to do. Robinson family said, I've had old friends tell me they no longer want to associate. I just say, cool, and keep it moving. Absolutely. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Kat, Robinson family, I separated myself as well and keep a distance. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep your business to yourself also. Dioki said, laugh out loud. It's a Leo thing for sure. I say what I have to say, then I let it go. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Carlton said, thank you. 
Okay, so many comments here, you guys. Kat said, oh, General Locks, I'm back. I'm feeling great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I don't give them any attention. It helps protect my mental status. Stay. Absolutely, guys. And that's what I mentioned earlier about every time you engage in the negativity, you're chipping away at your life. Okay? Uh, Philip Tibbs, mirror work, affirmations, meditation, scriptures, forgiving, keeping love. I love it. I love it. I love it. 369 helped me. Absolutely. Thank you, spirit guide, addressing and allowing us to address imposter syndrome. I love it, Carlton. <laughs> Robinson family, maybe Leo's come off strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. Philip Tim says, black crystal sprays, incense, use the angels and pray throughout the day. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm, there's so many comments here and I'm gonna have to move on. Angie Hunt said, I absolutely love this. And you, oh, thank you, Angie Hunt. I love it. I love it. I love it. Robinson family, um, Ernest Muhammad is here. Okay, hello, hello. Vanessa Jackson said, thank you for your awesome message. I have the three, um, she's meant 369, but we'll get your book. Um, it works. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let us go. I am ready. Okay, okay. Yes, Donna Fool is here. Hello, Yvette. Hello to you. Oh, uh, Carlton Atkins says all conscious situations are either below us or above us. These aren't even um, these are not even seen. However, if we see it, it is us. Hermanic law of polarity. I love it. Nora P. Wade is here. Yes, we do. Okay, Michelle Leisure said four dollars and forty-four cent. Appreciate the information. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Again, we're going to move on because I might, I cannot get to all of these comments. Um, blessings on the beautiful people can um, connected for the first time in history. I am part of the live from the beginning. I love you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Somebody say great morning. I did the right it a hundred times last night for the first time. Super excited. Okay. Back to the task at hand. I love it. I love it. I love it. What if you pay for YouTube so I don't have um, commercials? I, I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> this is on the topic. Comment moderator. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, I've got my yellow sweater on. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, St. Kitts. I love it. So many people. Um, I know a person who is constantly complaining and being the victim. I have limited my conversation. Absolutely. And then think to yourself, why are you attracting that person in your, in your field? If you limit them, they will go and find someone else. Okay. So I just want to bring that to your attention. Live, living in that very energy right now, but it's becoming sickening. So change is a must. Absolutely. Listen, we all been there. Somebody, this is right on time. This is going on right now at my job. Overheard two co-workers saying, I don't deserve the promotion that's going to be given to me. Listen, let it go. Let it go. Okay. I wonder how five-year-old child is engaged, would be able to respond to you did it. You bought it. Listen, children are here. And to tell you the truth, they're the most precious. They are here learning and they don't mind speaking their mind and letting you know as they learn. Listen, you just guide them. You lead them. You're the, you're the person that's guiding a child. So remember that and never judge. Okay. Uh, I am too soft and let go too far. Okay. You're not soft. You just, you're just putting that out there. It's just the issue of somebody constantly creating a situation. I'm tired of being the bigger person because I have the bigger person. Why are you attracting him again? Okay. Something's causing you to attract that everyone. I think the wise thing is not to self blame for bad things, but rather to hold self and others accountable. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I'm saying. You're saying that, listen, I just mentioned to you, why am I attracting this? What lesson is it for me? I'm not saying this person is totally innocent. They are on their own lesson. They are on their own mission, but that is their mission. Why are you attracting this situation into your life? So it has to be some type of lesson that you need to learn. And that's the point of this um, video, okay? So I hope everybody get that. Okay. Blessings to you all. I don't give them any attention. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Rob, if you are referring to me as a, uh, as a uh, big, any, 
big fan of dead and adore just uh have a, a legit disagreement with the, this oh okay okay so listen blessings to you but listen everybody has their own intake on why things are happening in your life okay if you're not willing to accept your part in it then you're still learning okay and that's all that there is okay there is nothing else to it why are you in this situation and not someone else why is this happening to you and then when you get out of it you're in it again okay look we got 11 111 thumbs up okay the universe is talking you need to self analyze and see why this is happening to you and that's it now listen again the person could be a jerk okay could be a real jerk that is not the issue here the issue is why is this in your reality why is this in your 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 presence why this is why we're talking about this okay that person could be a jerk and could be a jerk with someone else why is it in your life okay and that's where we're talking that you need to take accountability for this person could be a jerk but that's their life okay and that's what I hope you guys get out of this, okay? So um, I emphasize your, okay, oh, people are talking. Okay, I'm going to let all of that go. Good morning, Yvette. Love your channel. Positive message. Energy greeting for Chicago. Blessings to you. Um, blessings for all of you. First time here. Difficult to write in English, but I, listen, you wrote in English very well. Totally very well, okay? Currently taking a self-care ritual with my spiritual bath. Uh, absolutely. And I do the same thing. Um, okay. Um, okay. So we're going to pass on because we got so many things and I want to keep moving. Um, uh, okay. I love the little goblet. They say, um, are my purest form is beautiful to teach and learn from them. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, okay. So now we're going to move on. I had this conversation with myself last night. and It was liberating. Absolutely. And again, you guys, you guys just don't know about how letting things go is going to give you more peace and it's going to cause you to have a peaceful night's sleep. It's going to cause you to move on to greater things. And when you understand this, you'll stop attracting the negative things into your life. If negativity is coming your way, you say, hey, look, I don't gauge in conversations. I don't gauge engage in um, talking about people. I don't engage in any of that stuff. So I'm going to step out. Those people will never come back to you with gossip. They would never come back to you with gossip. If you find yourself in gossip, it's because you are allowing it. You are open and receptive to receiving it. And that is why it's coming to you. So you really need to understand this, you guys. Nothing happens by accident. Okay? I love it. Okay. Um, yes, Donna Full said, time to reflect on my life patterns and what I was attracting and how Tough times and great times. Thank you, Yvette, so much. Think about here. Gratitudes to you. Blessings to you. So now let's play around a little bit, you guys, because we are over my time. I didn't know people had so much to say about this topic. Again, this is something that I get all the time. Now, for the first book, now I'm going to say it again. If you are out of the country and you win, because I'm giving out seven books, and you win, I will give you a coaching okay so if you are one of the ones that win the seven books okay i'm going to give it out seven you will get a coaching session instead okay and i will write your name and then you will send me a message uh, through the email okay so i will put there i need you to send you can send it to support at my world of metaphysics dot com okay and I'm um, send it there. And let me see, make sure. Oh. Okay. And that way right there, I will get your message. Okay. So remember that. So if you win, send me the message with your name and your real name. Okay. So that I'll know it's you. Okay. <laughs> and then we can figure it out. So now the It Works journal gives you the instructions on how to use this journal, you guys. And it walks you through using it. Okay. This is on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. 
we're going to get to the first question, okay? The first question is, what is the secret to manifesting? What is the real secret that causes you to manifest? Somebody give it to me in the chat, okay? What is the secret to manifesting, okay? What is the secret to manifesting? I'm still looking. What is the real secret that is to manifesting, okay? Okay, come on, you guys. Come on. What is the, somebody said thoughts. They're very close. Somebody said frequency. That is part of it. What? Yeah, K. Lewis. She said feelings. K. Lewis, you have just won an It Works Manifestation Journal. Your feelings is going to be the catalyst to help you manifest whatever it is, okay? Whatever it is you're feeling is going to cause you to release that energy. That's going to be your feeling, your thoughts. It's going to build up that feeling inside of you. And that feeling is going to be the motor that pushes forward, that is going to get you where you want to be, good or bad. K. Lewis, you just won a book. Now, K. Lewis, you're out of this, okay? You're totally out. K. Lewis, are you in um are you in America? <laughs> well, don't worry about it, okay? When you reach out to me, let me know if you're in America. If you're not, then yeah, I would set up the session with you, okay? So now K. Lewis has the first book. Congratulations, K. Lewis. Now, for the next question. Who is the one that speaks about this all the time, that talks about feelings, that talk about feelings? Feelings will get you there. Who is the author that we study in metaphysics that talks about, ah, Angie Hunt. She said Neville Goddard, and she is actually right. And um, Neville Goddard wrote the book, Feelings is the Secret, you guys. So Angie, you have just won a It Works Manifestation Journal, okay? <laughs> I love it. Okay, Angie, you won before Angie. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we have Kay Lewis. We have Angie, um, I put Angie Goddard. Okay, Angie Hunt. <laughs> I love it. Okay, do me a favor. First person to write this. What is the name of my first, of my first um man my first book what is the name the full name of my first book the full name what is it what is the full name of my first book that i put out in december what is the name okay it went out uh i need the full name what is the name i need the full name i need the full name i need the full name everyone what is the name of the book? Please, someone get it. I'm getting pieces of it. What is the name? You guys, come on, you guys. This is simple. What is the, ah, okay. Robinson family, you got it. The 369 Manifestation Journal. Yes, it is. The 369 Manifestation Journal. Okay, Robinson family, you just won a It Works Manifestation Journal. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Robinson family. Okay. Okay. Now this one right now is the next one. And it's simple, you guys. What is the name of my second journal? What is the name of my second journal, you guys? What is the name of my second journal? The full name, you guys. Please give me the full name. <laughs> Please give me the full name of my second journal. Uh no, no, no. Come on, you guys. Come on. You guys are most, come on, please. What is the name of my second journal? The full name. I done showed it to you guys like 10 times. <laughs> Give me, okay, Michelle Leisure. You got it. It's too late. Yes, daughter full. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. Who has it? Wait, wait, hold, hold on a minute. Cecilia, no, Cecilia L is the one that got it. Well, you put an S on the end of it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, okay? <laughs> I'm going to give it to you anyway because it's there's no S at the end, but I, I'm, I'm going to give it to you anyway, okay? Okay, 
So I'm going to give it to you anyway because you put an S on the end, but I'm going to leave it. But because she put an S on the end, I'm going to also give it to Yes Donna Full. Yes Donna Full, you're going to get one too, okay? <laughs> Donna Full. I love it. I love it because you actually spelt it correctly um, with the title, okay? So Yes Donna Full and Cicely L, you both have just won a manifestation journal. Again, you're going to send me uh, um, send me an um, email through the, the, the email that I just posted. So I have two books here for you guys and I am sending it in the mail. Again, if you're not in this country, I will then offer you a coaching session for 20 minutes. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is uh, <laughs> laughing out. That was a typo, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So now this is another thing. What is the name of the book that I sent all my close family members? I mean, what is the book, if you watch my videos, that I say that I actually bought and, and gave it to all of my family members? I did this many years ago. If they read it or they didn't. Okay. Okay. You know what? Uh, um, you, you, there's, a, there's a spelling error, but, uh, but I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, Dioki. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. I'm going to give it to you, Dioki. It, um, because you wrote Jits Works by RHJ, but it's, it's work by RHJ. Okay. So I'm going to give it to you, Dioki. Okay, super. Okay, so I'm going to give that to you. But you guys, get the spelling right, okay? Because next time I'm not going to do this. <laughs> now, um, you know what? Um, Sonia Martin. Sonia, no, because it's not really It Works Book by RH. A lot of It Works by RHJ. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see so much. <laughs> I love it. Um, let me see. Okay. It, the, the whole thing is It Works by RHJ. Sonia, you wrote It Works. Um, a lot of people wrote It Works. It Works. Congratulations. It Works. Okay, so let me see. Sonia, I'm going to throw in there a book for you too, okay? I'm just going to give it to you because you did write It Works and Dioki spelt it wrong, okay? But next time, I'm not going to take any spelling errors, people. You hear me? No spelling errors. Not here, <laughs> okay? So wait, who is that again? Um, Sonia Martin. Okay. So Sonia, contact me and I will send you the book. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. So now we're counting down. This is another one, you guys. Okay. How to calculate your life path number. I need you guys. And I did this last time, you guys. Now, how do you calculate your life path number? And I'm not taking no shortcuts, you guys. How do you calculate your life path number? Tell me how to calculate your life path number, okay? Give it to me correctly, you guys. No typos, okay? No typos or you're not getting it. How do you calculate your life path number, okay? People are giving me little type of things. I, I said, how do you calculate? I don't need to know what it is. I just want you to tell me, how do you calculate? If you already won a book, do not join in on this question, please. If you already won, we don't need you joining in, okay? So blessings to you. <laughs> Please tell me how to calculate your life path at month, day, year. Okay, I needed a little, um, come and give me a little more than that. Hey, uh, add your date of birth, uh, add your date of birth, date, month, year, bringing down the single digits. Uh, Dioki, you already won, so I don't know why you're in this one, Okay. Uh, add the numbers, uh, month, day, year, and add together. Like da da da. Um, add the numbers in the month, date, and year, and add together. Like okay, okay. Um, okay, I I I will take that. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay. So oh, oh yeah, look, somebody's somebody's putting. They're not telling how to do it. They put it in what don't count. <laughs> I love it. 
All right, somebody's doing the destiny number here. You add your name. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, Dioki, yeah, thank you, Dioki. Stay out of this one, okay? <laughs> I love it. Uh, Michelle said, I just watched the video too. Well, I guess you didn't get nothing out of it, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, you did because you got the extra parts out of it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So listen, I'm going to give that to um, um, Sim. Okay, Sim. So how you get the life path number, you add the numbers in the day. You add the numbers in the month. You add the numbers in the year. You break it down to single digits, and then you add those three together. Okay? So July 11th, I mean, July 3rd. Um, 2000 would be seven, three, two. And then you, then you take those numbers, seven, three is 10 plus two is 12. And then you break that down to three. Okay. So you were very close and basically you said it, you just didn't say it the way I really wanted it, but you said it exactly. So Sims, I'm going to give that to you. Okay. I love it. So now the last one, so Sims, ah, ah, you want a book? You want a book? <laughs> okay. I sent the link. The link is in there. You guys look at my last, um, look at my last comment and it'll tell you where to send the, to send the information. Okay. Okay. It's in there. It'll, it'll, it'll show my face and it is in there again. It, if you didn't know it's support at my world, of metaphysics support at my world, of metaphysics. Don't forget to put your, your your name and your real name, your your YouTube name, so I can compare to know that it's you and your name. Okay, blessings to you all. The last one that I want to give, and this is very simple. Okay, and it's based on what we spoke about today. It is simple, you guys. Now listen, it's the last chance for you to get this book. Okay, last time, last chance, you guys. And I'm not taking no shortcuts. Please tell me what is the color of protection and love? Give me the two colors for main colors for protection and love. Give me the, the main. And if you want something, stay out of it. Give me the main colors for protection and love. Main colors. Ah, somebody did it. Denise Stewart has it. <laughs> <laughs> pink and black. I love it. I love it. I love it. Denise, you won, Denise. Denise, you won. I love it. I what, what is it? Let me spoke, make sure I spoke your name right so I'm not giving it to someone else. <laughs> I love it. Denise, you just won a It Works book. Uh, it works. You won. You won. You won. You won. You won. You won. I love it. 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 Listen, you guys. Blessings to you all. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, look, um, there is basically nothing else that I want to um, talk about right now. I just want to say blessings to you all. And, and listen, you guys can actually change your life just by following metaphysics. And listen, it is what it is. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Congratulations to all of those that have won a book. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, blessings to you all. Blessings to you all. Um, but I will do something, you know, before we go. I'm gonna give one more book out, and this is going to be only for those people that are a member. If you are a member of my channel, those are the people in the green, and if you already want something. I don't want you in this anymore, okay? This is only for the members that have not won anything, okay? Because I want to be there and give something out to my members, okay? And this, I'm come up with a question right now, okay? Um, let me see. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna do a. Uh, how can I do this? Okay, what is the two candles that I mention all the time to help you with your manifestation. Give me, and again, this is for the people that are members that have not won anything. 
What are the two candles that I mentioned? They're a type of candle that I mention all the time to help you with your manifestation, to help you when you're having difficulties. I need the two candles, you guys, the two types of candles. These are the two types of candles that I tell you about during coaching sessions, that I tell you about in the videos. What are the two candles that I can tell you that, in fact, I got one burning right behind me. Listen, what are the two candles? The type of candle, the name of the candles that I tell you will help you with your manifestations when you feel like something is not going well. Okay, you guys, that's a hint. Something that is not going well. Okay, you guys, this is a type of candle that I re recommend during my coaching sessions, you guys. <laughs> Listen, oh, you guys are really failing this one right about now. Oh, my God. What are the name of the, uh, listen, this is my little seven-day candle. I said for members, <laughs> maybe you're giving them a hint. Maybe you're giving them a hint, okay? Listen, okay, okay, come on, give me the two. I need the two. I need the two, you guys. I need the two. Okay, come on, come on. Hey, look, come on. Give me the two, and I'm going to sit back here and laugh, but give me the two. Give me the two. Uh, come on, y'all. It's a candle that I mention all the time. I mention this all the time, you guys, especially with protection, especially with basically when you're having obstacles, especially when things just aren't going well. Again, this is for the members. People don't care. They're like, I'm going to put, I'm going to jump in here anyway. <laughs> okay, you guys, come on. Somebody was very close. I'm not even going to say who it was, but somebody was very close. I'm looking for the two, you guys, the two, the two. In fact, you know what? Um, I'm going to give it, I'm, uh, I'm going to give one because one person did. I'm going to give two books out, okay? So I'm going to give this one to um, Vanessa Jackson Cannon because she has one, okay? Okay, Vanessa, I'm going to give you because you did get one, okay? I need the other one, okay? So Vanessa, congratulations. I'm breaking down and I'm giving you one, okay? She already mentioned John the Conqueror. So um, I'm gonna let that one go, okay? Um, come on, you guys, come on. I want a member to answer this question, a member to answer this question, a member, and then we're gonna sign out, a member to answer this question. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds and then I'm going to sign out, okay? I'm going to give you the, uh, it's just, uh, come on, you guys, 10 seconds and we're going to end this and we're going to leave this all alone, okay? <laughs> okay, Kat, you were close. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, you guys, um, I don't see, I don't see any member answering this question. I don't see it. And we're going to close it right now. It is over. Okay. It is totally over, you guys. That is it. What I will give to Juicy19, you are not a member. But because you knew the answer, I'm going to give you an It Works Manifestation Journal. And this was not for you. It was for the members. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. Um, Juicy19 said, Road Opener, Seven Day Candle. And absolutely, I always mention the road opener and hi, John the Conqueror. So you know what? Because you knew the answer and you didn't follow my instructions, Juicy19, I'm going to give you the candle, um, the, um, not candle, the book. Okay, so listen, you guys, blessings to you all. I'm signing out. Congratulations to all of those people that actually won a book. And again, send me a message. If you are not in this country, I will give you a 20 minute point blank to the, to the basic minute coaching session. Okay. Blessings to you all and namaste.